So we're living through some very tough and strange times at the moment. Um, and I'm not used to offering a thoughts in this way. Um, but firstly, I'd like to say thank you for watching our service. I hope it offers you some comfort. Secondly, if your loved one died this year and you'd like their name included in the church's book of remembrance, do please let me know and we can arrange that. This evening, we remember quietly those whom we've loved and who've died recently and not so recently. It isn't easy to remember when remembering brings back the pain of our loss. It isn't easy to remember when we feel there were things that we wanted to do or say, but didn't get the chance. Sometimes remembering is the last thing we want to do or are able to do. When we lose someone dear to us, it's as though a jigsaw puzzle has been thrown up in the air and all the pieces have been scattered far and wide. As we remember, the pieces start to come together, only the picture isn't quite the same. We have to look closely at what is emerging, but there in the new picture is the possibility that we can still love the one who we've lost, that their life we did share with them has made a difference to the people we are now. The Bible reading that Keith has shared is from a letter to those in Rome who were trying to find Jesus' way. It's a remarkable passage of the power of love in difficult times. He asks, what power is there that can separate us from love? And answers it by saying, nothing. I am convinced, he says, that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. It takes courage to remember. Take courage from Paul's words that absolutely nothing, not even our grief, can separate us from the love that we've shared with those we have lost. Love is stronger than death, and love is of God. Memories don't just connect us with the past, you see. Memories are also what connect us with the future, with hope and new life. As we remember, as the fragments start to come together and we see new possibilities emerging, may we become ever more aware of the bond of love that cannot be broken. And in time, may we become familiar with the place where we sort of keep company with them and perhaps share again the intimate glance of a love that cannot be overcome. Amen.